This is making neighbors and mourners pretty angry. Dave DeMarco is live to show us how bad things have gotten there. Dave? Well, we first reported on issues at this cemetery back in 2006. And by the looks of things, the grass in some areas has not been cut again this year. Fresh flowers on these graves are likely only visible because the mourners brought their own weed eaters. Other headstones at Greencastle Cemetery are hidden by the tall grass and weeds that now cover them. The section of the cemetery is home to mostly older grave sites, but if you get close enough, you can see relatives are still trying to honor their loved ones, even if they have to wear boots to try to get to their grave sites. We talked to a man mowing grass across the street today who says it would be impossible to cut with a mower like his now. Many gravestones, you wouldn't even know they were here. Yeah. Unless you're up on it like you and I are right now. And if you try to call the number listed on the website as the caretaker for this cemetery, unfortunately, you're going to receive this message. Cricket number you have called is no longer in service. Greencastle Cemetery Management admitted they were having trouble with upkeep back in 2006. Normally it takes us around a week to cut the cemetery. Uh, it can get really overwhelming with the resources that we have. Volunteers from the Berry Company came in to help then, but no similar efforts have been announced this year. Unless something is done, headstones for the Wright brothers' siblings and deceased from the Ohio Children's Home might appear to be underground themselves. You know, you know so if you have any ideas on ways to help with upkeep of the cemetery or another way maybe to contact that management company, you can leave a comment under the headline Overgrown Graveyard on our website WDTN.com and the story that will be posted shortly here. Or you can log on to my Twitter page. Reporting live, I'm Dave DeMarco, 2 News on your